What is pi? We can simply define pi as the ratio of circumference of a circle to its diameter. For all circles, irrespective of their sizes, the ratio remains the same constant. That is 3.1415. This constant is called as pi, pronounced as pi and represented by the Greek letter pi. It means any circle's circumference will be 3.1415 times its diameter. In other words, the circle's circumference will be a little bit more than three times of its diameter. As the first three digits of this constant resembles March 14th, this day is celebrated as International Pi Day. One more interesting thing is that this year Pi Day consists of the first five digits of the Pi constant, which repeats only once in 100 years. What's its speciality? As we observe it, the decimal representation of this constant never ends. It means the number of digits in this constant cannot be calculated. If you take 10 billion digits after the decimal point, still the constant continues to go on. No pattern of digits appears to be repeated. For example, your birthday is on 9th January 2001. And if you search for the pattern 09012001 in the decimal representation of this constant, you can find this pattern at the 2,067,15,284th digit after decimal point. Almost any pattern of the numbers can be found in the pi constant because the digits go completely randomly and endless that makes it form almost all patterns. You can also try this in the link in the description below. In lower classes, we approximate the pi value as 22 by 7 and use it in solving mathematical problems. It is such a popular approximation of pi so that so many people have a misconception that pi is equal to 22 by 7. But actually, pi is an irrational number. It means that the constant pi cannot be expressed as a fraction or a ratio of the two integers. And pi is the transcendental number that means pi never be the absolute solution for any kind of equation. For example, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. What is the origin of pi? The basic need of pi lies in construction of circle-shaped things which are used in day-to-day -day life. In ancient days, carpenters used to make bullock cart wheels made of wooden. They used iron rim to surround the wheel to give its strength. They make the iron rim having the circumference exactly same as the wheel's circumference. As they both have the same circumference, it is not possible to fit the rim directly onto the wheel. So they heat up the rim to expand, then fit it to the wheel and then cool down the rim. This makes the rim to fit the wheel very tightly. But now the question is how to make the rim having exactly the same circumference as the wheel. For this, it needs the knowledge of pi. But actually in villages, the artisans measure the wheel diameter and take a metal piece with a length of 3.1 times of diameter and bend it to make the rim. They may not know about the pi constant, but unconditionally they approximate the pi value to 3.1. It is believed that the ancient Egyptians had the knowledge of pi and used it in pyramid constructions. They estimated pi as 3.1416. The Great Pyramid at Giza has a perimeter of about 1760 cubits and a height of about 208 cubits. The ratio 1760 by 280 is approximately equal to 6.2832, which is 2 times pi. In India, Aryabhata in 500 BC, the great Indian mathematician succeeded to approximate the pi value up to 4 digits that are 3.1416. 
in other mathematical writer named Sulab Sutras in 600 BC, calculated pi as 3.088. Earlier in Indian sources, it also found pi as the square root of 10, which approximates to 3.1622. The first recorded algorithm to calculate the pi value was the one done by Archimedes in 250 BC. How did Archimedes calculate the pi value? At this instance, it is to remind circumference of a circle is equal to pi times its diameter. It can be written as circumference is equal to pi into diameter. It should be noted that if we choose a circle such that its diameter is one unit, or radius is half unit, then from the above conclusion that circumference can be calculated as pi. Archimedes used polygons to calculate pi. From the above figures observe the length of A to C via B. It is very clear that the pink AC is less than green AC and it is less than B blue ABC. It means circumference of inner square is less than circumference of circle and it is less than circumference of outer square. It is written as perimeter of inner square less than circumference of circle less than perimeter of outer square. But we observed earlier that the circumference of circle with a radius of half unit is equal to pi. Using it in the above equation we get perimeter of inner square less than pi less than perimeter of outer square. From above figure we can calculate inner and outer square's perimeter. Using Pythagoras theorem we get r square plus r square is equal to s1 square. s1 is inner square side. Then we get s1 is equal to 1 by root 2 because r is 1 by 2 and perimeter of inner square is equal to 4 into s1 is equal to 4 by root 2 that is 2.828 it is clear from above figure the outer square's diameter is equal to radius of the circle that is s2 is equal to 2r is equal to 1 unit and then perimeter of outer square is equal to 4 into s2 is equal to 4 units using this perimeter values we can write the first equation as 2.828 less than pi less than 4. If we consider the pi to lie at the midpoint of this range, pi may be considered as 3.414. It is a rough estimation, but if we choose octagon instead of squares, we get more accuracy. First, let us take only the inner square and the circle from our figure and inscribe an octagon in it. It is clear from above figures that AB square plus AC square is equal to BC square, but we know that AB is equal to R minus S1 by 2, AC is equal to S1 by 2, BC is equal to S is equal to side of octagon, R is equal to 1 by 2, S1 is equal to 1 by root 2. Substituting all of these values, we get the circumference of the octagon as 3.0. 6145. And now let us take out a square and the circle with an outer octagon inserted. Using similar techniques makes we get outer octagons perimeter roughly as 3.25. It means using octagons we get pi approximation as 3.06 less than pi less than 3.25. Doesn't it look wonderful? But doubling the number of sides of polygon every time using above technique we can get more and more accuracy. Archimedes did it with 4, 8, 16. And lastly, he reached 96-sided polygon and approximated pi as 3, 10 by 71, less than pi, less than 3, 1 by 7. Remember that decimal system is not yet discovered by that time. The more simple method is that when you inscribe a polygon in a circle, each side makes T is equal to 360 by n degrees of angle at the center. Suppose if an equilateral triangle is inscribed in circle, each side of the triangle makes 120 degrees at the center of the circle. Similarly, a square side 
makes 90, Pentagon side makes 72 degrees, etc. From above figure, cos of 90 minus t by 2 is equal to s by 2 or sine of t by 2 is equal to s by 2 or s is equal to 2 or sine of t by 2 s is equal to sine of t by 2 because r is equal to 1 by 2 then circumference of the polygon is equal to number of sides into side p is equal to sine of t by 2 but from the above discussion we derived that t is equal to 360 by n using it we get p is equal to n sine of 180 by n it is the formula of the circumference of the polygon inscribed in a circle it is clear that when the number of sides of polygon increases its circumference gradually equals to circumference of circle mathematically it is written as limits n tends to infinite n sine of 180 by n is equal to pi other pi value calculations Later, mathematicians have discovered several generalized continued fractions that do, such as Madhava, an Indian mathematician, used infinite series to estimate pi to 11 digits around 1400 BC. And later, mathematicians developed infinite series techniques in the 16th and 17th centuries to evaluate pi value. After discovery of computers using interactive methods, we became able to calculate pi value up to millions of digits. But today, using supercomputers, we are able to calculate pi value up to 2 quadrillion digits after decimal points. Usage of pi in various formulae. Although pi is related to circle, it appears in various formulae of science, such as testing supercomputers, testing numeral analysis, algorithm to perform most cosmological calculations because there is the accuracy necessary to calculate the volume of the known universe with a precision of one atom. Even some melodies were made based on pi. Check this one. Finally, simply we can conclude that pi is used to almost everything in our day-to-day -day life, from measuring the volume of hydrogen atom to infinite universe. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Our last video received 100 views just in a week time. Thanks for that. Please also like our Facebook page link in the description below or click on this Facebook logo. Back to you in a week. Bye-bye.